Welcome to our channel, today we are going to explore failed aviation designs in history. The Lockheed A-856 Cheyenne was an advanced attack helicopter developed by Lockheed Corporation in the 1960s. While it showcased remarkable capabilities and technological advancements for its time, the project ultimately faced numerous setbacks and challenges that led to its failure. One of the main reasons for the failure of the A-856 Cheyenne was its high development costs. The project was plagued by significant cost overruns and delays, which strained the budget and led to scrutiny from the U.S. Congress. The escalating costs, combined with changing defense priorities and budget constraints, ultimately led to the termination of the program. Technical difficulties also contributed to the failure of the Cheyenne. The helicopter incorporated several innovative features, such as the advanced rigid rotor system and the turreted integrated sight and fire control system, TIS-FCS, for accurate targeting. However, these complex technologies faced challenges during development and testing, leading to performance and reliability issues. Another factor that hindered the AH-56 Cheyenne was its ambitious performance requirements. The helicopter was intended to be a fast, heavily armed, and maneuverable attack platform. However, achieving all these objectives proved to be extremely challenging. The Cheyenne encountered difficulties with its engine performance, transmission system, and the overall weight of the aircraft which impacted its maneuverability and speed. Additionally, changes in military doctrine and the evolving threat landscape played a role in the failure of the AH-56 Cheyenne. The concept of dedicated attack helicopters was being re-evaluated, and emphasis was shifting towards multi-role platforms. The rise of anti-aircraft defenses and the increasing effectiveness of surface-to-air missiles also reduced the need for low-level, high-speed attack helicopters like the Cheyenne. Ultimately, the AH-56 Cheyenne program was cancelled in 1972 after significant investment and years of development. While the Cheyenne never reached full-scale production or operational status, it provided valuable insights and technological advancements that influenced subsequent helicopter designs.